Honourable Speaker, I have the privilege to present our government's budget for the fiscal year 2017-18. We cross to Mariti Motimele, who's outside Parliament, where Minister Praveen Kordan has just announced the 2017 budget speech. Thank you, Peter. Yes, the minister just announced his budget plan whilst echoing the president's call for radical transformation of the structure of the economy and a call for inclusive growth. In order to achieve this, the budget deficit remains unchanged and an additional 28 billion will be raised in taxes. Government debt will then stabilize at 48% of GDP. Peter, I should add that the minister assumes economic growth of 1.3% in 2017 and CPI inflation declining from 6.4% to 5.6% by 2019. Mariti, take us through some of the other highlights um, in the minister's budget speech. Peter, over the next three years, the minister will spend 490.4 billion rand on social grants. Over the same period, the National Student Financial Aid Scheme will spend 54.3 billion rand, while an additional 105.9 billion will be transferred to universities. Food inflation continues to be high due to the recent drought. He's also allocated 494 million for tourism promotion. What do his tax proposals include, Mariti? An additional 16.5 billion will be raised by a combination of a new personal income tax rate of 45% on taxable incomes above 1.5 million rand. For motorists, an increase of 30 cents per litre in the general fuel levy and 9 cents per litre in the road accident fund levy. There's also an increase of between 6 and 10% in excise duties on alcoholic beverages and tobacco products, raising 5.1 billion rand, and legislation will be passed for tax on sugary beverages. And did the minister talk much about our state-owned entities? Well, the minister emphasised the role of SOEs and how these are well-placed to partner with private sector investors. And with regards to health and public safety, how much is he allocated to these? Well, Peter, the minister has forecast an 8.3% growth for health and a 5.8% growth for defence, public order and safety. For human settlement and municipal infrastructure expenditure, that will increase by an average annual growth of 8%. And that was Mariti Mutamele coming to us from Parliament. Uh, for more analysis, we'll be joined shortly by the Dean of Gibbs, Professor Nicola Klein, for her analysis on the 2017 budget speech.